Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of our Drive Time video calls and I'm very, very happy to welcome Stefan Marsh to the show. Stefan, how you doing my friend? I'm good and how are you my man? Keeping well, Keep, that's what I like to say, yeah, keeping well. Yeah. Now uh, <laughs> Stefan, I obviously know you very well indeed of course, but for those who don't know what it is you do in motorsport, how are you involved? Uh, so, uh, I've been running Club Racing UK with Nick for was it now? Last year and a half or so. So, you know, trying to build a platform for all club racers um, to share their videos and help them out with discount schemes and competitions to to win cool stuff and that. And um, so I'm moving along with that. That's been been really good, I think, to uh, you know help with the club racing scene and help with the exposure and things like that. Um, also, when I met Nick, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, and also when I met Nick, he's got us in to racing more on actually racing rather than just watching it. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, took the punt on the old Enduro KA kind of series. So, so that's, that's pretty much right, everybody. It's what <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it's a good answer. Uh, Stefan, let's just talk Enduro car then. Uh, obviously, 2019 was yeah. the first season, uh, not just for you uh, for Enduro car as as an entity. How did it go for you? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it was uh, well, as you know it was it's, it was an awesome experience to be part of. Um, as I say, it started off with us three guys, um, myself, Nick, and Matt, um, buying a car and, and building it from scratch. As a you know, we wanted to go racing, we wanted to be a part of it and do it from scratch. You know, we didn't want to buy something done; we wanted to build it all the way through. So the experience of you know three guys that work on roller coasters for a living to to build a race car. You know, the, the first the first race didn't go too well um, with the with the engine uh, with the engine dying on us. But you know, we learned from that, and as we progressed, and then obviously, as you know, ending up at uh, brands at the uh, Indy 500, um, finishing on the on the podium third alongside Nick Tandy and and all that was absolutely epic. Yeah, exactly. There's the hat. Right I was just about to say, is that the Brands Hatch hat? It does look like it. That right? is the Brands Hatch hat. Yeah. <laughs> so but, how, how yeah. did Club Racing UK get started off the back of all this then? Uh, so it started, to be fair, it started from Nick. Obviously Nick's been um, into into the, the Club Racing a bit longer than me. Um, so he, it, it really originated when he went to Watersport, and he went to Watersport, uh, I can't remember which year it is, but there wasn't a lot of Club Racing um, stands or um, advertisement or anything like that there. So. He got a bit frustrated at that, so he he started Club Racing UK, and then I jumped on board with him to help him. You know, he's a busy man with a, his his family and such, so I jumped on board to help him out with with what's, um, the running of it as such. Um, and then it kind of evolved from there, really. Um, Excellent. No, it's great, and of course now we're doing podcasts as well. Uh, with you guys, aren't you? Which are uh, yeah, yeah. very popular. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. That they're filmed every other Monday, aren't they? So do keep an eye out for those. Yep. Now, Stefan, let's talk a little bit about you uh, in a bit more detail, shall we? Now, so you did all uh, was it six rounds of enduro car last year. Where where was yep. your favourite place to go? Where was your favourite place to race around? So as everyone's saying, it's a tough one because <laughs> there's a couple of like to say, but I think inevitably we're always going to end up at Cabo. Yeah, yeah, a lot it's of people. Are absolutely, saying. absolutely epic. Obviously, I've never, I've, I've never had the chance yet to drive anything else around there, just the KO. Um, and the experience of driving that KO around, around Cabo was just absolutely insane. Just some of the corners when you first start, they're a bit daunting, and then by the end of it, you're just chucking it in there at full gut and just hoping for the best, and <laughs> it just, it just sticks, and it's just great fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, look, let me ask you this question and stuff, because this will, this will tell us a little bit more about you, the motorsport fan or the car fan. Uh, we're at Cabell Park, you and me, right? And we've got an empty track and you've got 10 laps and you can take out any car you want, past, present, race car, road car, whatever you want for 10 laps around Cabell Park all by yourself. What are you taking out? Um, I think because I am a bit of a four man. And I've had some old school Fords in the past. And my dad had a Ford Sierra Cosworth. I would have loved oh, to have been able to take yeah. a, a BTCT RS500 Sierra Cosworth. That oh. would have been epic. 
Could you imagine that? Wow, that would thunder yeah. around Cadwell, wouldn't it? Bloody hell. That's would, a great answer. Awesome. In fact, that, that's... Expensive, yeah. expensive opportunity if it ever arose, though, I'm sure. I imagine so, but I'll tell you, that's one of the best answers we've had to that, definitely. Now, uh, Stephanie, you've obviously been doing a, a, a bit of motorsports, obviously, enduro car. Now, what I want to know, yep. we always like to have a little laugh at um, the guest's expense. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I want to know what's been your most embarrassing moment. What's been that thing you've done? You thought, oh, God, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I drove like that. You, you tell us. Um, it's a tough one for me because I don't put myself in embarrassing situations much. I know others may say different, but <laughs> you know, I think I think Nick puts himself in more situations than me, and it kind of I get overlooked. <laughs> um, but one that sticks out. I mean, it was it was embarrassing, but it could have been a lot more embarrassing. Um, when me and uh, our other driver and friend Matt went to do our ARDS test, um, he had already done his medical before going. And I booked on to do my medical whilst we were there. And on the way up there, um, uh, he bought us a couple of cans of Red Bull, the oh, large no. ones. Oh, and no. the people people may know me. I've got quite a small bladder. So I was like, well, I'm not opening it yet. <laughs> Get closer before I open it because I was going to have to stop. So we got a bit closer and then I, I opened it, drank it all down. And, that, and obviously the first thing I was doing was a medical test. Didn't think about it. So I went straight up there, straight into the into the room. And they stick the um, uh, blood pressure band around your arm, um, and it, she just looked at me with a shocked face of horror, and uh, and said, "I'm gonna have to try that again in a minute." And I'm like, "What's up?" <laughs> I <think> it's <laughs> wrong. And she's like, oh, "Your blood pressure's through the roof. Your heart rate's going mental." She's like, "Well, maybe you know it's excitement or whatever, and it, it calmed down." So we did the rest of the tests and that, and then come back to it, and she said, "That's still extremely high." Uh -oh. And I was like. Did it matter that I had a can of Red Bull before she got in there? And, uh, yeah, she went mental at me. So that's not a sensible idea. <laughs> but she passed that's you, though. She, you passed the medical. Oh, yeah, lo luckily, I was just underneath the level. So they did they did pass me. But it, it could have probably gone the other way. And that would have been proper embarrassing <laughs> before I even got in the car to do anything. <laughs> Oh, uh, Stefan, that's a cracker. I didn't know that. I'm going to remind you of that every time I see you now. In fact, I'm going to buy you a can of Red Bull every time I see you. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're not on an open track uh, track day, otherwise they uh, they kick you off. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, Stefan, look, I really do appreciate your time this afternoon. Just before we go, I've got two questions left for you. Um, just with regards to racing, etc., cetera, is, if, is there anybody you'd like to give a particular shout out to? For their support, uh, family, friends, sponsors, anybody you'd like to give a bit of a, a thumbs up to? Uh, obviously, the family is obviously going to be the missus putting up with it, um, going away for days and days. She doesn't, you know, she loves it really, I'm sure. But <laughs> yeah, um, obviously, Matt, Matt, the, you know, it, to be honest, it wouldn't have been possible without Matt. Um, so, obviously, he's a great friend, uh, great help, obviously. Good laughter on the car, but it, it, it all stems from him, really. Um, so big thanks to Matt and obviously Nick. Um, Sponsor-wise, everyone that's on the car, um, yeah. they, all, they all do um, do their bit for us, and especially for the companies that help us out at Club Racing UK, they do a, a mega amount of um, discounts and gifts and, and 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 competition prizes and stuff. Yeah. So a massive thank you to everyone that helps us out and gets involved with Club Racing UK, really. Fantastic. And look, finally, Stefan, probably the most important question you'll ever be asked in your life is this. Uh, Stefan Marsh, if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Um, probably have to be a chocolate cookie just because they're awesome. Second or one actually, today. Second shortbread, one today, so shortbread. Shortbread's quite good. That dunks well. Shortbread's a good shout. Yeah. No. I like, oh, yeah. Okay. To, I, I can go for those. Do you still love the lady fingers? I love the lady fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lady fingers. Love a good always. lady finger. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm, this this goes out at five o'clock, so it's not past nine o'clock yet, Stefan. We'll have to leave the conversation. Oh, we can't, there. <laughs> can't that bit out, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no mate thanks so much Sorry. for your time i'll see you on the next podcast anyway um so take care stay safe Stephen marsh it's been a pleasure thank you very much you too i'll see you later mate take it easy cheers